If you previously found yourself wondering who George Gillette Jr. is and why he warranted induction into the Hall of Fame, you're probably not alone. He certainly did not have a storied high school or college athletic career. I was a frustrated athlete. I was never big enough, fast enough, strong enough, good enough to be an outstanding athlete. But once you hear his connection to some of the most well-known, iconic franchises in professional sports, you will understand why his name belongs with the dozens of men and women who were inducted before him. George Gillette Jr. is a businessman who was born in Racine 79 years ago and attended St. Catharines High School and later Dominican College in Racine. Racine was a wonderful place for me to be from. I started several businesses there, enjoyed working and living there, still have a number of friends there. A sports enthusiast since childhood, by the late 1960s, George was business manager and minority partner of the Miami Dolphins. I love sports and I love the people around sports, and so it was a unique opportunity. Two years later, he sold his interest in the team. It was a great experience for me, and it taught me that capital is important, but capital is less important than relationships. And it's, it's been something that we've followed for the last 50 years. He then became partner, owner, and CEO of the Harlem Globetrotters, and later established Globetrotter Communications, a national radio group. They had lost a lot of money, and it took us a couple of years, but we turned them around, and they became, at that time, the most successful sports franchise in the world. In 1985, George acquired Vail Associates as owner and operator of the ski resorts in Vail and Beaver Creek, Colorado. He was instrumental in turning Vail into the globally recognized and respected skiing community it is today. Vail at the time, however, was not doing as well financially as it did later. And we were able to, to invest heavily in high-speed detachable chairlifts, and, and concentrate on the quality of the guest experience. In 2001, Gillette set his sights to Formula One racing by launching the Denver Grand Prix. I love cars and I love, I love fast cars. Once I started it, I stepped aside and uh, it lasted for a number of years after that. That same year, he purchased the most iconic of all sports franchises in Canada, the Montreal Canadiens. We bought them, we took over management, we brought in wonderful people like Bob Ganey, who'd been a star of the Canadiens for years, a genius beyond genius, and we brought in our business approaches and personality and culture, and we brought in the best people to judge talent. He is largely credited with eventually turning the Canadiens into a $1 billion franchise. In 2007, George bought controlling interest in NASCAR's Everham Motorsports team. We were competitive. On any given Sunday, we could win, but we weren't there every Sunday. So the way you measure it is, to a large extent, winning and losing. We were competitive. We weren't outstanding. Our sponsorships that we brought in, however, were outstanding, and they're still in the sport. He has been inducted into the Colorado Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame and in 2008, Sports Media Canada named George Sports Executive of the Year. Today, George Gillette Jr. is the largest owner and operator of ski resorts in the United States. Gillette is founder and chairman of Booth Creek Management Corporation, which oversees the Gillette family interest in over 200 diverse businesses.